Well, it's honestly my favorite time of the year, especially because we have some amazing light displays around town. We went to three points to check out James and Tina's setup. This setup has been years in the making. Well, we've been together 14 years, so it's 14 years. I've been doing this, God, since I was a little boy. For James and Tina Cadell, the preparation starts way before the holiday season. By August 1st, everything inside the house is done. They're usually done by Halloween, but as the years went by, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. A time-consuming project for a priceless outcome. Personally, I love doing this for all the kids out there. Not everybody can afford, you know, fancy trees, gifts, and everything else, but the kids love the lights. And they aren't just spreading Christmas joy through their light display. I have a group called Tucson Angels, usually Christmas Eve night. I'll go on there, dress as Santa, and I read the night before Christmas, and that's for all the kids on there. When James isn't reading to the kids, he's cooking up something for a deserving group of people. I do chili every year for the homeless veterans. And this Christmas spirit isn't just in the month of December. Inside the house, this this village stays up all year. Getting them ready for next year's festivities. And we hope you have a very Merry Christmas. That setup is just incredible. So much stuff outside and so much stuff inside. Well, it's one of Arizona's strangest mysteries and it remains unsolved. After the break, we hear from the man who captured the Phoenix Lights. You're watching Kega 9 on your side. It's been